Hey, I'm Chris from FreeZero. Welcome to another one of our YouTube product reviews. Today we're up at Van Gogh headquarters checking out their new van and motorhome mornings for 2019. Right, so what have Van Gogh got new for us this year in their van and motorhome awnings? Well, firstly, they've given us a whole new range of awnings. And what they've done is they've given a more price point entry level awning to the van and motorhome section. How have they done that? They've slightly despec the fabrics by lowering the kind of the, the, the weight of the fabric and they've also given us polled versions. So they've decided basically that not everyone is interested in air beam, not everyone wants to pay for air beam. So they've given us sort of fiberglass poles, so a traditional style of kind of framework. Behind me, we've got the, uh, the Siesta, and this also comes in what they call the Bondi as well. So the Bondi is the fiberglass pole one, and that comes in at 200 quid, which for me is a bargain if you're wanting a, a kind of Van Gogh quality awning. Uh, and then this one, Siesta, which is their air beam technology, which has all the same sort of specifications in the air beams, but a slightly lighter weight fabric. Um, and then you've got the bathtub ground sheet in it. And for that Bondi to come in at 200 quid, that really is good value. This one here specifically, which we're going to talk about now, is what we, what I'd kind of maybe call an enclosed canopy. So you've not actually got the drive away features that other awnings from the Van Gogh range have always boasted. So what you're getting is basically if you come, come through into the uh, tent, well, we talked about it being enclosed canopy and you can kind of see that from here. So with a normal driveway awning, you'd kind of have this whole section with a bit of fabric that separates your van from the awning whereas this is just totally open this sort of awning i could see being really useful for going away on like a biking holiday or holiday where you're not going to be going anywhere you're leaving this in place and you need storage for stuff you want to maybe cook in this area uh, and you just you just want to kind of get away and and just leave your van in one place and then kind of use it as a bit of a pit stop to go places you're not planning on taking your van away um, so this i can see is a really good sort of usage for that super quick to put up because you're literally just either with bondi you're threading one pole or with this one the siesta you're actually just blowing it up you're connecting it to the van blowing it up or threading one pole and it's up and ready to go and then pegging it out like i said a minute ago some of the features so with this one you've got this bathtub click clipping ground sheet so you can see on the sides it does actually clip in to the whole section all the way around so you've got this kind of bathtub feature to it You've got doors on the side, so you don't have to kind of come in this front door all the time. Front sections, you're not getting skimped on. You've got the curtains on the front section. You've got the curtains on the doors. This is just one single layer of fabric. There's no mesh or anything to kind of let the, the whole thing breathe, but actually you're getting plenty of ventilation through the sides anyway. And then on the front here, you've got this big door that will open up fully or you can have it half rolled shut. So you've got, again, a little support clip there that will just hold the weight of the door and then you can totally open it, the whole thing up, which will allow you to have a nice big kind of open section to the, to the awning. Nice crystal clear windows. Like I said, curtains on the windows. And yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really cool option. I'd be certainly, for, for me, if I went away surfing or something and I wanted to put my surfboard somewhere outside of the van and needed to sleep in the van, this, this kind of awning would be perfect. Right, so moving up the models, so we're now moving over to the Pharos, which comes in at 275, which again, really great price for kind of something with this much going on. So you're moving more, you're kind of moving away from that enclosed canopy and you're now moving into an actual drive away awning. So if you're needing to drive away whilst it's in place, you can leave this in situ, drive away from it, and then come back and park up and reconnect it. So you can see there's a whole section here that encloses all of this off. So you've got a kind of standalone awning. Uh, this is coming as a polled version. It also comes as an air beam version, which is called the Palm. So this is the Pharos, and then you've got the Palm. The Pharos comes in a low and a tall version. You can see the connection method used here is for more of a motorhome. So it's a tall, much taller style of um, van you're using for this and then the palm only comes in the low version some of the key features for this model uh, you're basically getting a removable ground sheet so that clips in 
all the way around in all the different corners. Like I said a minute ago, you've got that zip that will, that will kind of open up into your van or close so that you've got privacy in the van. You could maybe use this as a sleeping area. Um, and then you've got the little walkway between the van and yourself. In the actual walkway, if you want to come through, you've got doors that you can open on both sides. So you can get into your van without disturbing that awning. The front door just on clips. And then that comes down and you've got full window frontage and then you do actually have curtains on the front door as well. And then along the side, so you've got a side door through there as well. And then on the side window, you've also got curtains that you can pull up on this. Little things that they haven't taken away, even if it is a cheaper sort of price point entry level, you've still got all of the TBS that runs through all the tents and all of their awnings. So the idea with TBS is it triangulates the structure. If you've watched any of our videos before, you'd understand it. Uh, if you haven't, then it basically you pull up from these little pockets, you pull the, uh, the webbing up into the middle of the structure and the idea of that is you do that on both sides, clip it in and it triangulates the uh, pressure when the wind comes and just gives the structure more strength. But last but not least, we're moving now on to, well, this one here, which is the Cove. Um, and this also comes in the polled version, which is called the Noosa. So the Cove comes in the low, which is what we see here. The Noosa comes with the pole version in a low and a tall. So Noosa coming in at 350, which is great for a kind of uh, a elongated sideway attaching uh, drive away awning. Uh, and then the Cove is at 550. And again, still a really good price for an air framed side attaching drive away awning. Always pre-bent poles, again giving you that extra bit of space and a really great little canopy out the front. This basically mirrors what was last year the Galley Compact, which was a brilliant seller for us. Reason being is that having it parked parallel to your van creates a lot more space on the campsite. You're not having to get around the back. And if you did pitch it kind of with the old T-style style of kind of vans, um, you, you're ending up looking at your next door neighbor. So this, this is a really great concept and, and design. Right, so we're gonna firstly look at the thing that probably most distracts the eye in this, in this awning. And it's, it's great, but it also kind of takes away the size and living space of this awning, which is the freestanding bedroom. So this you can buy for any of the awnings we've just looked at and it gives you that extra bit of sleeping space. So if you've got someone coming around to stay and you need to put up a quick bedroom for them, you can just erect this and it gives you that extra bit of, um, well, basically extra bit of space for, for people to sleep in. The idea of having a sleeping pod in is it stops that condensation, gives a bit of breathability to it um, and doesn't, and you're not getting dripped on in the night. But moving away from that, the key features for this one on the front door which you didn't get on the other ones you actually do get some mesh which again good feature gives you some airflow um, we talked a little bit about all the curtains on all of them these comes down from the side the windows are actually do look really good quality good sort of clarity in them got curtains coming up the side there they're all clip up curtains and then you've got a side entrance on the door there this again is a clip up ground sheet so you clip it in all the way around and then it kind of comes underneath so creating a bit of a bathtub ground sheet. Um, and then out the back there, you've got your ventilation up high on there and there, and then you've got lower down ventilation through there. So still keeping quite a lot of the specifications that those higher end galley compacts have, but at a much lower price point. All right, so we've looked at the kind of more entry level awnings. Now we're gonna be looking at the more premium awning. So what is new with the new premium awning? So last year we were up here and we got introduced to this real kind of cool hex away. This is exactly up my street, hex away awning. So what have they changed? Well, at first glance, you won't see a lot of change with all the awnings. So the Keeler 4 now becomes the Keeler 5, the Galley 2 becomes the Galley 3, the Cruise 2 becomes the Cruise 3, and the uh, Galley Compact 2 becomes the Galley Compact 3. So lots of different kind of name changes, but what's the deal? So the whole 
big change this year for Van Gogh is their concentration on their fabrics. So we talked a little bit ago about the fact that they kind of despect the fabrics that we just looked at in the in the sort of more entry level fabrics uh, and more entry level awnings. These ones they've beefed them up, they've amped them up, and they've gone three years testing. They've basically increased the durability. They've increased increased the strength of them. They've beefed up the UPF rating on them. So and they've also added a color lock. So the idea behind that is longevity. So the awning will last a lot longer. Now, how have they done that? Well, what we've been talking about is the denier of the fabric. We've been concentrating on that for the last two or three years. So this fabric used to come through and it was a 420 denier fabric. And what they found is that over those 420 denier, so denier is basically the thickness of the yarn that they use in the fabric. And what they found is it did kind of wasn't consistent as they'd liked it to be so sometimes you would get 420 but then it would get thinner and thicker and thinner and thicker so you wouldn't get the consistency and the strength of the fabric so this year they've really made sure that that fabric is consistent so 420 denier fabric they're not calling it that they're calling it the sentinel pro fabric still has that double rip stop but is consistent so therefore it is stronger it is more durable and it is more waterproof and it has a UPF rating of 50 on it as well. So basically talking about the, it's what they use to measure fabric. Well, it's like the fabric version of SPF, so how, how little sun damage it does to it. So we are just getting a much more beefed up, amped up product. Okay, so we talked about the specifications of the material changing. What else is new with the Hexaway? Not a lot, actually. Um, we've got this additional hex canopy that you can now put on. This will fit the 2018 model uh, and obviously the new 2019. They come with these clips on for the uh, guy ropes already. So what we're doing here, we're just literally clipping that one there. It's got a V shape to it. So you're clipping the middle one and then clipping the end and then the three poles that just span the whole area. And what that gives us is this extra bit of space. The thing we loved so much last year about this Hexaway canopy was the fact that it was a great socializing space. You've got so much room and ways to get in. It was kind of like a gazebo, but actually an awning, uh, which is perfect for kind of socializing. But this year, we also, because of the space inside of it, we there wasn't any real option for privacy. So what they've done is they've added a little privacy curtain that again, you can fit onto the Skytrack and the idea behind that is if someone's getting changed, you know, this is your only awning space if you're putting this on your van. If someone's getting changed, then you can just zip this down and you've got a bit of a, basically a privacy curtain. So that's a nice little additional extra to it. So moving now on to the keeler. So what's changed on the keeler? Again, the fabrics have changed. If you want to watch any of these kind of products in a bit more detail, then go on to our 2018 actual full model reviews. Uh, and then you can have a little bit more information on it. But these are just really previews on what's changed for 2019. So what's changed for 2019? Purely just a color change on this. So this has gone from black to a slightly more toned down gray just to match through, give it a little less stark contrast between the lighter gray and the darker gray. So that works. Um, obviously you've got the upgraded fabrics, you've got the color lock story going on this, so it won't fade quite as fast. More beefy, more durable fabric. And then moving on to something that is brand new for us. So Galley 3 that's out for this year hasn't changed other than again the fabrics. But what have we got here? We've got a brand new Galley style awning. And what has been missing in the whole range is a polycotton Galley. The idea of the Galley is it's kind of like a tent but you can attach it to your van on the side. So you can use this as a big living space. You can use it with two bedrooms at the back so you can sleep four people in it. And then you've got a great little porch area out the front. But the problem is if you're going down to the south of France or you're going to Portugal in the 30, 35 degree heat, a polyester tent does get super hot. So the idea of this is it's the polycotton. It's the technical cotton that Van Gogh have been making for years in their really high end tents. And now they've put it into their awning. We've had a lot of people asking for this style of tent in a polycotton or this style of awning in a polycotton. And this doesn't really disappoint. It's got everything that the galley's got, but in a really nice breathable fabric. So if you don't know what technical cotton is and you're watching one of these videos for the first time, the idea of it is it's like that old school canvas that actually breathes. So it's a kind of more of a natural 
fiber that's then blended with some polyester and the fibers start off as a weave that's slightly open as it rains the fibers swell up and close up and just stops any any water from getting in but when it's then hotter the fiber open up again and allows an airflow through the tent so you're not walking into this sweltering hot polyester tent you're walking into a nice cool environment until you've actually experienced it and done it on a hot day you don't really understand the benefits but you really would understand the benefits if you were camping in a very hot environment so lots and lots of nice features you've got all the curtains that are nicely um, decorated they've got zip up curtains on the inside like you would expect at this kind of level of awning so the great little curtains again zip up on this side you've got the skylight running through at this level as well it's giving you a little bit more light you see in these they've actually got the skyliner clipped in this gives a good again a little bit more insulation uh, either from cold getting out um, and uh, and heat getting in and then the crystal clear window so you've got slightly thicker windows in these as well and then the ventilation around the bottom you can add your bedrooms in you've got your tbs um, and i'll come back to you with the price on that in a second but generally as a, as a whole awning we we're really liking this and we think it's going to be really popular with that market they're traveling into a, a hotter area or they want something that's going to last them a long time we've looked at quite a few awnings now there are a few that are missing from the Van Gogh range here because they've stayed very similar but with the added fabric so we've got the galley 2 or sorry now the galley 3 compact with the extra fabric additions which is basically the same as this well it is the same shape and design as this with the integral ground sheet the upspec fabrics and then we're also missing the cruise which actually connects from the back of the van rather than parking par parallel again that's been a really popular model for us and that has the upspec fabrics that we talked about a minute ago um, all of those videos that we've done in the past are on our website and you can go back and have a look at them if you're interested in seeing the different types of the models um, and if you've got any questions at all then give us a call give us an email uh, if you'd like to look at any of our other youtube videos and tune into our youtube channel and if you want to subscribe then the links below have a look at our other youtube videos but thanks guys for watching have a great day.